Beautiful Virgos. Do you know us Virgos, we're going to feel it. We're going to feel shadow. Shadow retrograde, which is coming in a couple of weeks time. This video just got interrupted, but it is what it is. I'm going to try and get what I got that same energy guys welcome to the gifted hermit my name is Leela. i am also a virgo i did a video earlier on in the week i always do virgo videos because we the shit <laughs> i'm going to do an inventory spread now it picks up on past present and future energy all right let's get into it all right i'll try to keep it as general as possible please remember to give me a thumbs up of course you will you guys show me so much love already we went through the cycles. You can see the justice card up there in the top left corner, right? That justice card. We went through the cycles. We went through the karmics. We tried, you know, went, we thought, you know what? We need to fucking level it up now. We need to live our life, not only to the fullest, but fair and, and, and true to ourselves. True to ourselves and to others. Like this is... Keeping shit real, making the sacrifices. You know what karmic situations happened in the past. You know where you're at now, or at least where you're trying to get to. I see you guys enjoying life, or at least trying to remain positive. You made the sacrifices to get where you are today. And if we move on into the now position, some of you are still trying to figure out something you know, getting into our minds as we do Virgos, getting into our minds. Some of us are thinking about our own inner child. Some of us are, are visualizing our future. And, and it could be, listen, it can be detrimental to our health if we overstress or we overthink things, All right? We've got to keep that flow because it's, you know, you got the magician card as well, I believe. Yeah, the magician card, and it's funny how it came out here. Be careful what you manifest because there's so much excitement. There's so much love and happiness and adventure and things to be happy for, Virgo. Some of you are really enjoying life. You're in a good place right now, and I've been saying this. You, you made the sacrifices in order to get here, Virgo. You dealt with your karmic situations. You've tried to be fair and just, to yourself, to others, to life, to the universe. Look at the, the future energy. This is feeling liberated. I feel I definitely feel like if if it's not happening already, it's gonna start, you're gonna start feeling it, Virgo. And that's secure because you are loyal and that's enjoying life again and going out and enjoying life and meeting up with friends. And you know, people may come back from your past. This is also a message here with the judgment card. Someone may come back from your past. Could be a friend. It could be someone that you were connected with on a spiritual level or a romantic level. But I definitely feel like people are going to be drawn back towards you, Virgo. Because you keep shit real. People enjoy your company, naturally. They may not admit it. <laughs> you know, you, it's, you definitely are standing in your own, even though the mind boggles. Because we're Virgos, right? That's what we do. And even though you may be hurting, you're also healing at the same time. We're very good at covering up what's going on inside. Talk to me. I'm here to talk to you. You have to be also grateful and reminded by the gifted hermit that you are in your power. Everything is there for the taking, Virgo. You're, you're, you're living your life. That zest is there. You are ready, the angels say. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Life is what you make it. The eight of cups, a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, always wanting something more meaningful, keeping that realness, spiritual and emotional growth, right? There's the spiritual, there's the karmic, there's the spiritual, here's the emotion, here's the learning, here's the doing. 
I see a lot of you leveling up financially as well. There's security here. I see you guys working for yourself as well as mankind. It's like, I don't just see, no, I don't see anything selfish here. I see Virgo really in love with life again, or at least trying, doing your best. Don't overdo it. Don't over get, overdo your mind, all right? Because um, you do a lot for the community. You are very, you're naturally graceful, man or woman. People are drawn to you. Keep up the good work, Virgo. And I'm not trying to be patronizing in any way. What I'll do, I'll get your crystal and mind, body and soul card. See what comes up here. And then we're going to wrap it up. But, you know... We're always continuing to heal. And I see you guys doing the shadow work. I see you guys trying to figure out behaviours and, and, and how you got to this point in your life. You should be very proud of yourself. You got to this point because you've done all the work. You're doing the work. Wow, look at this. What patterns in life do you keep repeating? Walk the inner labyrinth and find the highest spiritual purpose for your challenges and lessons. Discover and release the patterns that you that no longer serve us. Look for the emerging patterns of joy, harmony and inner peace. Move forward in your evolutionary spiral upwards. And that's literally what we've been saying here. Check the affirmations. I find balance. I find balance within. I feel my feelings and embrace my emotions. Embracing it. Don't overthink it. Embrace it. That's exactly what's going on here. Love swells into my life. I recognize repetitive patterns. I choose patterns of love, compassion and kindness. I focus on my heart center. I treasure the lessons I learn through being in relationships with others. And we continue to learn to the day we die. There's a lot of magic here. There's a lot of opportunity and positive vibrations. Mind, body and soul, give me a message for Virgo. Wow. Listen, I shit you not. This is all. Love is the heart of the matter, Virgo. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand with you, as we stand by with perfect, perf perfect protection and guidance. What a beautiful card. It's all about the love, me. Um, what a beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know what I should title it. Hmm. Anyway, love, peace and light, guys. Be kind to others as always, but most importantly, be kind to you. And I'll catch you on the rebound, baby. Love y'all.